Okay. <clears throat> this is September 8th, 2021. And um, this is an interview of Zing Wu, who's been in the um, Taiwan online Zoom dream group for some time. So before she um, begins speaking, I ask her questions or whatever we do in this, this interview. She first came to the dream group recommended by her friend Yaru. She was uh, quarantined in a, in a hotel somewhere in Taiwan. She just come from Australia. And you'll see she speaks with a nice accent. And um, there was something special about her. And um, one day she happened to mention that she was practicing yoga. And the same day, I think she says something about how excited she was to be reading a book by Eckhart Tolle called The Power of Now. And that, that somehow impressed me because she had such a spirit in the dream group. And as I'd gone through, I just finished writing two books and I'm really busy all the time. And all my practices had fallen by the wayside. I was just doing my work. And um, it occurred to me how much I miss meditating and yoga and I started doing them. So she encouraged me. And you think someone comes to the dream group, the dream group leader encourages them. Here it happened the other way. And I found a big change when I, when I did that. And um, so I, I asked her to give us an interview or to make a video with us. And um, she's a special member of the dream group. A lot of people are special members, it's a special dream group. And um, this, this is Zing, Zing Wu. Hello, Zing. Hello, Bill. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, uh, do you want so, me to ask questions or do you just want to talk? Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, you can ask me questions. <laughs> okay. So you came to the dream group. Can, can you, do you want to say anything about what you find in the dream group that, that, um, that, that attracts you to it? Yeah. Um, I think, I think, um, uh, before I came to the dream group, uh, yeah, before you say my my friend Jaru, she she recommend me the dream group, and before the the group one, she did like one by one appreciate my dream, and I I got a really uh, amazing experience. So when I when when she mentioned about that, uh, the the dream group will be on Zoom, and then she say she just recommend me that why why don't I just uh, join you and try it out and I just um, and all of a sudden I think the dream appreciation it's um is really powerful uh, it kind of it's not a method but when you work on dream and it doesn't matter how I mean sometimes the dream could be a very terrible one or sometimes it could be a really happy one but no matter what kind of a dream, in the end, if we can understand what dream wants to tell us, and they always got really profound meaning in it. And that's why I, I really, I really have a lot of, um, like, I really want to try this um, dream group. Okay, very, very good. Um, um... I, I'm interested in that profound meaning because it is true. Always when you work with a dream, you don't just get meaning. Like a lot of people, especially in California, especially in America, have, um, they look at a dream in a shallow way. What, what is it um, trying to tell me about um, how to make money or whatever, whatever the you know, issues? Mm -hmm. But actually, dreams are much deeper than that. That's, that's what you, you you want to say anything about that? They they do so much more than just give us advice. Or people think dreams are you know find the meaning yeah. of the dream and uh, show me which way I should go. You want to yeah. say what 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 it is that this deeper part of dreams that attracts you is? Yes, um, I think uh, when we okay, can I um it's when we do the dream group and we have a uh, like um, in a woman. Uh, the method they got uh, steps and one of the steps is um, we listen to the dream with our heart and when we do that way um, 
I think because normal when in, in, in our um, in our daily life, um, we always we try to to be criticized. We, we try to like ask questions. But in dream group, when we do the method, uh, when we do the, the appreciation um, steps, it's it teach me how to uh, like how to listen what the dreams really want to tell us and use the way about feelings, not not the logical mind. And when we practice this way, a lot of feeling were just so freely expressed. Um, I, I really remember like before I joined the dream group, um, it's easy for me just to, to ignore or suppress my feeling. But, but during this process, um, it will start like you, f- you feel like I'm so free. And then when you feel all the boundary is not like you are close to yourself, your inner self. And then, and then the, the true self would, would tell you through dreams. And that's, that's how the profound meaning is for me. It's like you connect with the, your, your inner self. And, um, and it, that's the part I always missing. And now through this dream group, it's kind of, I can reconnect with my inner self. And that's the profound meaning for me. And I think our inner self is um, like, if, like what we, with our logical mind or our ego mind, something we feel it's um, important. For, for example, you say it's about how to make money or like this material things. For our inner self, maybe it's not that, like the, the priority is really different. So the inner self tells us what's really important in our life to be who we really are and to help us to find what's really matter things in our life. And I think that's the dream. It's a profound meaning for me. It's interesting because um, what you say, because this morning, this morning um, I woke up early with a dream and it was a strange dream. So I lie in bed and I was thinking about it and I couldn't figure any meaning or anything. And as I, as I came to my desk later on, I thought, well, I'm, I'm going to interview Zing today. Let me, let me write down a few points. And I wrote down some points. And then at a certain place, all of a sudden I understood the dream, but the, the dream I had. And the dream I had was that I was in this building and I had this, um, this kind of sight in me or maybe it was some instrument I had or somehow that I could look down into smaller buildings on the street, across the street in front. And um, either because I could see into the building or because the building, the roof of the building was broken and it was easy to look inside the building. And what I found is they were empty. The buildings were empty. And it really surprised me that all these these buildings along the street, and this was in the middle of a big city, they were all empty. And then I there was someone I was talking to about this. And um, then I realized that this building I was, I'm in, that was a big building, it was empty too. And it, it was empty. There was nothing happening in this building anymore. Inside, there was nothing inside. And then I was downstairs and I was, there, were, there were some, a few people, there, but the, the, there was no work to be done because everything was empty. Everything had been abandoned. And then I realized it's like I could see that all the buildings all around, the big buildings, like the big building I was in, they were empty too. They were empty and they were abandoned. It was just an outside shell. All the buildings were an outside shell. And suddenly I understood the meaning of that dream is that is that our, our civilization, our society, Western, Eastern, all of it, is, um, has lost its center. And um, it's, <laughs> there's an emptiness of existence here. And what the dream 
work does. And what, what, you, what, you, what you do in the dream group um, and what you brought to me, because when you, when you got me meditating again, you brought me back my center because I've been working on these two books. I was tired and I was leading these dream groups and I was doing a lot of work. I had a pretty building on the outside, but I lost my center, you see? And so it was a picture of my society. But it was also a picture of me. And um, when I started meditating, doing yoga, it just came pouring back. And I realized that I'd done this practice for years, decades in New York City. Really, it meant a lot to me to do Zen meditation and, and to read these books about spirituality and, and to do yoga. And, um, and always my approach to dreams was not psychological. The, the ego, the ego mind is a little tiny speck, yeah. but the, the larger mind outside the non-egoic mind is vast. And yeah. we have built up an approach to dreams in America, especially, which is a money-making place. You know what I mean? And so it spreads around the world that way. We built up an approach to dreams that there's all about psychology. What's wrong with you? Oh, come pay me the money. I'll tell you what's all, you know, I'll, I'll help you find out from your dreams what's wrong with you. That's the approach to dreams. Our approach in this group is different and you epitomize it to me. And actually the way you epitomize it so much that you changed me and you gave me back the spark I used to have. But the spark is connected with the practice. We have to do it. It's not some idea in our head. We have to do it. Uh, we have to do yoga because it's in our body. The, the source of all this higher consciousness is in our body. It's not somewhere up in Mala Ala land, you know, in the sky on top of the mountain. It's in us. And we have to meditate and make our mind empty because when we make all that garbage empty, it comes up. It can come up to us. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that's what I, I realized. And... Um, so it's funny that this, this uh, interview that you uh, they agreed to give us, even the interview you're giving affected me and, and taught me something. And as we listen to this dream, of course we don't understand the dream when we first get it because we're thinking the way we think. But when we do something, and the idea for the dream came when I was doing yoga this morning. <laughs> when I was doing yoga, and, and then I got up and I wrote it down. And, um, so what you say really touches me at this moment about the spirit, about the deeper self. It's not something abstract. It's not psychological. It's not something vague. It's a very definite thing. It's real. And it's more real than anything else. Just because we can't true. see it, usually. We think true, it's true, true. So yeah. do you want to say anything more about all this? I just um because you, you mentioned about it's so real like a dream bringing us the things are so real and uh, I think when we uh I because um it, like um in in Chai uh, it's not Chai uh, the Zhuangzi says yes. like um you know like I I remember when uh, when I began to start a a, a dream group. I always think that we are more awakened in the dream because in the dream, we don't have those, um, you say it's a narrow mind or ego mind. We are so free. And I think we got more like, it's more real for me. It's, it's, it's much, much like true or real in our dream compared to the, um, the, the, the life we think we are awakened but actually i'm not really sure which one is more real to me and then um it just uh um and i think through um this uh, our the dream group the process when we when we look at the dream we will use the metaphor towards like what um to to interpret or appreciate the dream and sometimes I will use the method to, I start to, the, the boundary, like, how should I say that? Um, can I restart again? Um, I would say, like in the real life, when I feel like, I think, oh, it's so real. When we're suffering, we think it's so real, we are suffering. But 
But be honest, if, if we, we look at our real life just like a dream, and then you step back to what happened in the, we, we say it's um, the life situation, then you would have a more clear picture toward what we are. And, and because you, it gives you a, a space, a time out from where you are right now, then because it would jump up from there, and you have a clear, I think the inner self would just help you to have more like um, the right, like it will guide you to, to see the, the, the life situation with different aspects. And, 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 and <laughs> for me, I think it's really amazing. It is amazing because what it is, is that what we do in dreams, you mentioned Jiangsu, they call them, they used to call them Chuang Su. And also yeah. there's, uh, there's Lao Su and Chuang Su. And um, people don't know if Lao Su was a real person or if many different people wrote that wonderful Dao Te Ching. But uh, Chuang Su was a real person. There's no doubt about that. People know that. And um, he really was an enlightened man. This is before the Buddhists, to my knowledge, maybe I've got this wrong. This was before the Buddhists came into China. And what happened when the Buddhists came into China is that um, all, all the Taoists, like Zhuang Zhu, all those disciples, they folded into Buddhism. And that's how Zen Buddhism was created in China. It's a combination of, 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 of Taoism and Indian Buddhism. And so Zhuang Zhu is, is one of the fathers of everything, we, of everything that's, that matters today in terms of spiritual development. And his writings, I mean, I don't read Chinese. I just read the um, translations of um, Thomas Merton, an American Catholic monk. And Thomas Merton doesn't read Chinese. So he just read other translations and then wrote his own translation without reading Zhuangzi himself. But I, I love that book. And um, immediately you read his stories and it really, you know this is coming from a place that's real. And dreams are the same. You're right. And I feel with Montague Almond's process, I always, I always felt this is, this is what you call them. We, I call them Zhuangzi. You call them, what do you call them in Chinese? Zhuangzi? It was Zhuangzi, it's called Zhuangzhou, but you also can, can call him Zhuangzi, like you call Laozi. Yeah, Zhuang, Zhuangzhou. Zhuangzhou. Yeah, Zhuangzi. Zhuangzhou. It's, um, yeah. I feel the almond process is just like that. What you're doing is you're tapping down, like those people that follow Zhuangzi, they used to go walking for long walks in the mountains through the forest and along paths. And that's the way they got enlightened. It's that the important thing is to get away from your ordinary mind. Um, True, yes. You know, and with the dreams, when we go into a dream, we get away from our ordinary mind because that comes up from underneath the ordinary mind. Underneath. It's from yes. a deeper source. It's more real, like you said. It's really real there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and I think that the dream do actually enlighten us all, like every time. The dream always enlightens us. So every time I, when we do the dream group, in the end of the, like we do orchestration, in the end is like everyone, you get enlightened and, and you, 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 you receive like, it could be a dreamer, but and then the, the rest of the vendor, like like everyone, it doesn't matter if you are it today you are the dreamer or you're the member, we all got enlightenment in the way that we need. Even though it's the same dream and we can have the different aspect toward the dream. So we 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 from the same dream and but we 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 receive the strength from us. And I think it's a really amazing thing as a tea, as like we, we do in a group and, and, but everyone got a different resource from this, like a dream process. Well, one thing, one thing is that we, when we walk away from having correctly made sense of a dream, we all carry away the resources of all the different people in the group that we didn't have before. We're like, you know, we walk away with so much that we probably couldn't get ourselves. 
because we don't have all those different resources that all the different people have. And uh, I, I was thinking about this when I, when I was working with that, I had the insight about that dream of the empty buildings. So the question that rose in my mind, okay, well, what is it that we in the dream group have in our building that's not empty? Our building is not empty. What is it? And then it occurred to me, what we have is that what you call my deeper self, my real self. We have, we yes. connect with that. And so the, the nature of that in the dream group, when, when, when we're working, when I'm having a dream and I work with my dream and then you get ideas and insights and you and other people can help me fig, figure out the dream is because the dream comes from a place where we are all already connected. It's a deep place in us. We're not separate from each other. We're not yes. separate from what's all around us. We're connected. And this yeah, is the yeah. essence of it. And um, I feel this is so profound. This is what's missing today in the world. People are not connected to the environment. The environment's dying. The oceans are dying. The atmosphere's dying. They, they think that the, the, the tigers are gonna go extinct within, within five or 10 years. All the different animals are dying. And people are dying. The countries are dying. America used to be a model democracy. Now it's a, it's, a, it's just an idiot idiocracy. It's just these idiots there who who oh I don't believe the COVID is real. I'm not wearing a man. I'm a freedom free. You know, it's, it's stupid people, you know. And that's what that's what it's all turned into. Everything is dissolving. I mean, Hungary has turned into a dictatorship, and Turkey has turned into a dictatorship. Brazil has turned into a dictatorship. America is on the verge of turning into a dictatorship. The Republicans now have rigged the elections in so many different states that no matter what majority the other people have, the Republicans are gonna win because they rigged the election. They don't let certain people vote who might vote Democratic. And so things are not so good. And what we do in the dream group is very much needed, not just by us as people, like we're deficient or weird, no. This is, we need to be human, that's all. It's not something great and impossible. I think we're going back to the basic, the natural way. And I really like that. I really have the same, like, um, it, I don't know, but I, I think one of the, the book I, I read, they do say like, we all, we all oneness, it's like we all connect to each other. And like, um, it's, it's can I say it about the, the religion things here? Yeah, yes. For, for example, when you say that the, um, the Christian Christianity, they say it about like everyone's sister and brothers. It means we are all family. I think the deeper, more profound meaning is we all connect to each other. And as you say, deep down, we have the same root. It doesn't matter our nationality, our gender, I think. If we human, we connect to each other. It's from heart to heart. Just now, the the society would like the it is 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 not the education, but it separates us. I don't know what happened, but it separates. Like like the COVID happened right now, and then then the racism things happened. Um, but I think if we get rid of this. Um, the narrow mind, as you say before, we will realize that we all connect to each other. And I think it's the, it's the most important things that we should rethink about it, or we should re recognize that we all together and we are the one. Yes, <laughs> just, uh, I just heard from what you say. But it's true, it's, it's really true. And that's what religion is. It's religion is not about my religion versus your religion. They may be different religions, but they're about the same thing. They're about that deep part Nothing. of it connects. Yeah. And yes. people can twist that so easily. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like in, in, in Texas, they have it twisted so that, oh, you can't have an abortion because it's against God. You know what I mean? And uh, that, that has nothing to do with religion. That has to do with people's personal choice. Um, mm. It's people twisted in the, the Taliban over there and in, in those countries, they, oh, the way they kill they kill these women, they kill these people and they, they make them slaves and that's religion, you know? And we've even gotten religion. In the wrong the way. This is the ego, Eckhart Tolle writes about this. This is the ego and this is the work of the ego. And he says the ego is not real. 
It's fiction, really and that's so true. Yes, and the dream yes. comes from being be bigger than the ego. What part of us is bigger than the ego? True, true, true. I think when you say the power of now, it says that the ego is not true, but the love is true. Yeah, or the joy is true. You know, like people, um, like I, yes, it's like we sometimes we're missing that important part of us. So we, we go to searching outside. We try to get like sensational, like, it, you know, we, we, we try to, to fulfill that our missing part and we start to do, to search with the wrong way. And then it just, it just go far away from where we are. Yep. Then we, we, then we, it turns out like we, we separate from the true, like it separate from the who, the, the inner self. So we, we, then we feel more, more lost. And then I think the dream is a way to bring, it's a connection. It's like it, it brings you connect to who you are, to your deeper self. It's not outside. It's come back to look inside yourself. And then ironically, it is outside because the inside ourself, there's inside you, then the other people, inside Yahoo, inside the different people in the dream group, the inside and the outside, in a sense, everything is inside, in other words, you know, it connects, it all connects. But a lot of people in the world today walk around acting as if it doesn't connect, you know what I mean? We've got to keep the Mexicans out. Oh, we're horrible. Foreigners are coming in. Oh, too many Chinese in the country. I mean, what's wrong with these people, you know? And these are Christians too, evangelical Christians. <laughs> it's all gets twisted in, into its opposite. And you're right, the dreams bring us back. They bring us back, um, back home. To the root, yes. To the root, yeah. I, I really think you've hit upon the essence of what the dream group is. Do you want to say anything more? Mm -hmm. About the dream group? Um, about anything. About anything. I would just say, um, I think dream group sweetly, it's a place. It's really like, it's, I, I would say it's, it's a really um, pressure place for me. It's like, it's, um, you've got a really good company. And then it's a really safe place. You can express your true feeling and, without people's um, like a judge or criticize. I think the, peep, the member in dream group, it's um, everyone just um, use uh, really a, like it's impressive you by, by no condition. It's like you, you be totally support and like, they impress you, and um, then in in this kind of environment, we can just naturally to be who we are. We don't have to be afraid to be someone like in um, like in Asian country. We supposed to be like meet like parents stand like um like the parents we 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 wish you to be someone, and we always try to meet someone else and we um maybe later when we grow up or we start to to think about who we really are but in dream group because um there is no like um no requirement no uh, criteria you have to be someone else so you can just be so naturally to be who you really are and i think it's um like when when i grow older I think this part is really important to me. And also, um, I think it's a really, when you start to recognize who you are and then you can, like we all have some, like um, we all need, it, it's a great place to healing yourself. It's um, um, like we all have some inner conflict when we grow up or when we're in our and life situation, we do so many conflict inside us. And somehow it's amazing because in dream group, when we, every time people share their dreams and then when we walk away, we carry something, that important power or inner strength. And that's the source we can 
we can heal ourselves. And and it's and I think you, you told me like like the dream will always be with you. It would never abandon you. And but we just need to pay attention and appreciate and show how how important show like how how like I really care my dream. And in the same time the dream the dream will just talk you back. And I think it's a really wonderful relationship. It's not between someone else. It's the relationship between me and myself. And it's it's really amazing. Um, it's an amazing journey if you if you're willing to start it. And um, yes, I think Dream Group is a really wonderful place. And um, and if you try, you will know how how profound or how wise the dream is. Yes, that's what I want to say. Well, that, that is so beautiful. I just um I, I just I think your words to be who we are is the essence. That's why our power comes out when we can be who we are. Not when we can be someone else, be like him, be like her. No, be ourselves. And then our power mm. comes out. I yes. just want to comment on some things you said. Non-judgmental. The, the, the ego is the part of us that judges us, you know? And that's the tiny little part of us, a very small part of us. And it, it has its rules and regulations. You know what I mean? And um, people, people like Jesus or, or Zhuangzi or, or Lao Tzu or, or the Buddha, these, these people, these, these people have this enlightened experience of reality. And then the followers turn it into rules and religion. You know what I mean? Not them, but us. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really, it's, it's, it's like, the, it's just amazing. And you, you mentioned that how to listen. This is so important. We don't listen. We listen to our ideas. And you're right. How to listen is so important. And we so have important. to do that to figure out a dream. And then we carry it over to life. And we find that we're listening to other people instead of telling them what we think. What we think doesn't matter too much. And you said so many beautiful things. You said things freely express themselves. And that is such a great truth. Things freely express themselves. Everything, dogs, yes. cat, children, a baby, they freely yes. express themselves. It's not a big mystery. You know what I mean? If you just listen. <laughs> so I want to thank you. Um, um, you talk about ignoring what we ignore. God, we learn how to, they teach us how to ignore. You know, I, I was trained as a scientist. And I always say, well, don't, don't listen to your feelings. You're a scientist, you know, use your reason, you know. Um, but feeling is so important. Yeah. I would just like, wow, yes, the feeling, feeling is so important. important. It, it's so important because it contains more than the reason. It's not less than the reason. I mean, I mean, there are stupid feelings, yeah. But really, the feeling mind, you talked about the heart. Listen to the heart. That's the feeling. That, that's yes. the heart, the, the mind of... Many cultures think that our brain is in our heart. Um, you're talking about getting closer to the inner self. And um, you know, it's funny that you, you, you talked about dreams get us closer to our inner self and it's, it's like an enlightenment inside. But you know, a lot of the Buddhists over here in Asia, they think dreams are not real. You know, uh, we're Buddhists that so we, 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 we want to overcome illusion, not succumb to you. Dreams are not illusion, they're real. They're the actual truth. They speak the truth, yes. Everything you said is, is so... Um, and then you talked about being connected. You talked about everything that really matters. Do you want to say anything else before we close off? You did a really good... You, you really have a good take on dreams. I, I would wish you'd start up a dream group. Would you be interested in doing that? I would, just, uh, but I think I need to practice more about the, how to lead a dream group and to okay, find a well, member. Um, let me see. So uh, next week we have a leader, but the week after next, if you want to be the leader, I don't know where, where you'll be. You might be on a plane flying around. I think I mean, uh, if my test would be positive, uh, so negative, then I suppose be in 
Taiwan that time in the quarantine hotel. So you're going to be back uh, to a quarantine hotel okay. <laughs> again. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes. So I think after two weeks, they will be okay. Like okay. the next week. Yes. Well, I'll, I'll contact you about that. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to close this, this, um, this okay. Off, okay. All right. What else you want to say before we close off? No, I just, I just wanted to say like dream group is, um, it's a place to find who you are. And it's really, like I really recommended the this because I think in the dream group there's no like it's only have the main principle, but I think there's no much like rules. We just follow steps by step, and then it would just happen amazingly. So I I would just really recommend it if if anyone are interested. Okay. Yes. So, so yep. Zee, thank you very much for this interview. Okay. okay. No worries, no worries. It's really nice to talk to you. Okay, bye.